With the sound quality and versatility of Ensemble, combined with your favorite core audio application, you have the most complete Firewire-based digital audio workstation available. Ensemble features 36 channels of simultaneous audio inputs and outputs, including 8 channels of Apogee's legendary AD and DA conversion. Channels 1 through 4 have 4 transparent, digitally controlled 75 dB mic preamps. And since most engineers love using different types of mic preamps, channels 5 through 8 of Ensemble are line input only, so you are free to use your favorite mic preamps to complement the already extraordinary sounding Ensemble mic preamps. For digital connectivity, Ensemble also has 8 channels of ADAT I.O., 2 channels of SPDIF coax or optical I.O., and FireWire connectivity. With the help of the Los Angeles band, Blue Judy, we are going to show you how to make a professional sounding recording using the Apogee Ensemble. We started off by using Ensemble and Logic on a MacBook Pro to record scratch guitar and vocal tracks. For vocals, we used a standard dynamic mic plugged into channel 1. We connected a compressor to the insert on channel 1. The send of the ensemble goes to the input of the compressor, and the output of the compressor goes back to the return on the ensemble. The signal now goes through the ensemble mic pre, through the compressor, and then gets converted by the ensemble's A to D converter. For guitar, we connected into the hi z instrument input number 2 on the front of the ensemble and used Guitar Amp Pro in Logic. We set the tempo of the click track in Logic and recorded the scratch tracks. Next, we recorded our drum tracks. For this, we used the Ensemble and Logic on a Mac Pro. The session could have easily been finished on the MacBook Pro, but we wanted to show how great Ensemble works on either computer. We used a total of eight mics for the drums. For the overheads and room mics, we used the Ensemble mic preamps. For the close mics, Kick, Snare, Tom 1, and Tom 2, we chose API mic preamps. The overheads and room mics were connected to inputs 1 through 4 of the Ensemble. Because we used condenser mics, we engaged phantom power on each of the Ensemble's mic preamps in the Maestro control panel. The API mic preamps were connected to inputs 5 through 8 of the Ensemble by using XLR to quarter-inch TRS cables. For bass, we ran direct into the Hi-Z instrument input on the front of the Ensemble. And like the scratch vocal track that we did earlier, we inserted a compressor. The signal now goes through the Ensemble's high z input, through the compressor, and then gets converted by the Ensemble's A to D converter. Since we used a powerful Mac Pro for this session, we were able to keep the buffer very low and could monitor just using software monitoring and logic. However, if you have an older Mac, or you are running a lot of processor-intensive plugins and software synths, you may need to use the Maestro software that comes with the Ensemble for low latency monitoring. If you're not sure how to use Maestro, please visit ApogeeDigital.com for further information. We mic the guitar amps using a dynamic mic and a ribbon mic in the Ensemble mic preamps. The connections are pretty straightforward. The ribbon mic is connected to channel 1 and the dynamic mic in channel 2. We then use the Maestro Mixer B to sum both inputs together so that we can record them onto one track in Logic. Once again, using the Ensemble mic preamp, the final vocal track was recorded pretty much like we recorded the scratch vocal track, only this time using a condenser mic. The 48 volt phantom power box must be checked in Maestro for the Ensemble mic pre being used.
If you would like to download the finished track of the Blue Judy song, Little Fires, or for more information on what we used during the recording and how we used it, you can visit us online at apogeedigital.com. Crash out.